My name is Steve Menard. I'm a police officer here with the City of Moundsview. I've been here for 14 years. The training session that you're watching is called an Emergency Vehicle Operations course, and it is a course that every police officer in the state of Minnesota must attend every three years. The training session includes evasive driving, pursuit driving, skid control, controlled braking, serpentine, emergency equipment effectiveness, and backing. My name is Kirsten Lafine. I'm a police officer here with the city of Moundsview. The squad car not only functions as our transportation, but it's also our office. We primarily work out of our squad cars. So being able to use that vehicle to our advantage, especially in adverse conditions like wet weather, cold weather, and learning how the vehicle is going to react is a top priority for new officers. This is to teach officers how to control their vehicles, how to avoid collisions, how to get themselves out of skids, and vehicle control. I attended the emergency vehicle operations training. We focused on many topics, including emergency driving, while pursuit driving, backing up our squad vehicles, and operating out of our vehicles. In this training, we teach the officers evasive driving and collision avoidance skills. We teach them that their vehicle is basically suspended on four different springs, one on each of the tires. So if they make a very quick movement to the left, the right side of the vehicle, the springs on that side compress, storing the energy. So when they turn the steering wheel back to the right to correct the move that they made, those springs release all that energy and spring the vehicle back the other way violently. We teach them how to correct that and plan for it so that the vehicle does not spin out of control. As a new police officer for the city of Moundsview, this course was uh, essential to learning little details that go into being a patrol officer. As we drive around and spend the majority of our day on patrol, driving around, basically doing that as a distracted skill, we're not necessarily able to watch our speedometer the entire time and pay attention to the minor details within our vehicle as we're looking out at things that are happening on the streets around us. So learning to drive our vehicle in a safe manner is an essential skill, especially as a new police officer coming on and not having much experience driving such a heavy vehicle, a vehicle with so much equipment uh, and things in the way where we're not able to have the best line sight as in a normal car. One of the other topics that we cover is skid control. We teach the officers that the four tires that they're relying on for control of the vehicle, the contact patch between the vehicle and the road is about the size of the palm of their hand. One of the exercises we cover with our officers is backing. Over 50% of all accidents involving squad cars are backing. And of that, another 25% are in their own parking lots. During the backing exercise, we teach our officers to use their mirrors and looking over their shoulders. It is very difficult for us to see backing up because of all the equipment we have in the vehicle and our cages. Our visibility is limited because of those factors. The last session of the day that we do is pursuit training, and this culminates all of the training from all of the exercises that we've covered throughout the day into one final session. While driving a squad vehicle, I found it very helpful to practice and hone the skills of pursuit driving. When sirens are going off and you have your lights activated uh, in a situation where you are responding to an emergency situation uh, where time matters, it's very important to stay focused on that skill. Uh, it's very effective and I found it very helpful to learn to function in my squad car with those other distractions going. Some reactions that officers face are uh, increased heart rate, uh, tunnel vision, and learning to work within all of those senses and get to the scene and maintain your priorities is very essential uh, to our function and our responsibility in serving the public. Driving skills are a perishable skill, therefore you've got to be trained and continuously trained to keep those skills up. A police officer spends the majority of his or her shift in the police car. That is our office, that's where we work from, that's how we do our jobs, how we get to where we're going on a daily basis. We put on a lot of miles, more so than the average citizen in the motoring public. Therefore, we repeat this training every three years as driving is a perishable skill. Please remember to slow down and wear your seatbelt. Thank you.